Hello and welcome. In our previous uh, video tutorial, we were able to uh, create our website. We were able to also uh, configure our Docker Compose configuration and the Docker file. And we are right now we are going to close them. And uh, in this tutorial, we are going to create a new uh, page or a test page to uh, demonstrating the model view template that we had mentioned in our previous tutorial. And uh, just to mention, you remember that we created uh, the uh, an app that we are calling website. So this is the app that we created. The project is uh, called my website, and the first app that we created is website. And the next step will be whenever you create an application, a Django application, uh, the first step should actually be adding it into the into these installed uh, apps section. So I'm just going to add a comment here, and I'll call it I'll call it uh, local because this is a local application, and maybe in future we'll be adding some third-party applications into the project. So the application is website, and we will be refer referring to these apps file. So we will call we will add it call it website. Luckily, PyCharm can autocomplete uh, dot apps. That's not admin, but dot apps dot website config. So this uh, refers to this class inside the apps for app, app uh, Python file for the website. So we will have uh, we will have the after doing this now we can be able to uh, run our migrations, but we won't run it now. The next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to edit the views file. And I want us to create a page. Uh, and uh, we'll, I'll just clear whatever is there. So after clearing, we will import the, we'll put it from uh, django.http import HTTP response. So we'll make use of the Django HTTP library. And then we shall. In this case, we will use a function in which we will uh, just call it a home page view. And it will, will add request as a argument. And then it will just return a HTTP response. And inside it, we can add some HTML code, although we. Uh, Add, uh, it should be inside the quotes, and uh, I can just add this is my home page, or even better put, welcome to my home page. Welcome to my home page, and uh, you'll see you'll notice this line that we have here. I'll just add an uh, enter so that I follow the prepaid guidelines for Python. So I've created my first view. And uh, this view must be referenced by the URL. And the first, whenever you, you start on your project, you, you should first configure this URL, the main URL's configuration. And I'll do this by adding an include. And uh, the next line, I will also add another URL, uh, which points to the our application, which is website. So it will just be that. I don't want it to have any slash at the moment. And then I can add include. And then I will add the name of the application, which is website dot URL. And now you'll notice that this file is already shows something here. It's because it is not we do not have this file inside the website application, so we are going to create it. So it's saying that unresolved reference URL. So we'll create a new URL file. Call it URLs.py. Here we can add it to Git. And you'll notice that this now has disappeared, the warning that was there. So inside this, we are going to import from django.urls import uh, path. Then we'll create a URL patterns, which is equals to 
uh, list. So this one, we are using the same kind of approach that is here, URL patterns. So we'll add our path. We'll add it the same. And uh, there's something I've forgotten to import. So we can also add from dot views import home page view. So we'll add our view function here. And uh, we can give it a name. We can call it home. And then we can save all these. And then we can try and refresh our page and see if we can see our page. So you'll notice that we have welcome to my home page. So whenever I probably edit something, let me try and uh, inside the view and add it as a, a head uh, type uh, H1 element and see what happens. Yeah, so it has uh, refreshed. I think I was I had refreshed it uh, quite fast. So this is what this is what happens. Yeah, and yeah, you can. So we have been able to create our our views and our URL that points to the views. And uh, in the next step, we are going to look at uh, before we work with the models, uh, we are going to first of all create what you call a custom uh, user model for Django. And uh, then we can proceed with uh, the next uh, steps. So if you like my videos, kindly share, uh, like, and subscribe to my channel for more content. And uh, don't forget to click the, like, uh, the bell icon. Whenever I create new content, you can be able to uh, get a notification. Thank you for watching.